<clears throat> hey everybody, I'm back, y'all. We're gonna do a read on how the karmic feels about divine feminine. If you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm the Empress. Happy to have you here. If you are returning, welcome back, my loves. I want to thank you all for shopping with me on the website, www.empressempireoils.com, as well as everybody who has booked a personal reading with me. All right. So let's jump into this read because I feel like it's going to be kind of juicy. All right. So let's see how the karmic feels about the Divine Feminine. I'm trying to see which cards I want to use first. Let's see. Let's use these. Use the island time. How does this card make feel about Divine Feminine? Seduction. Oh. Karmic relationship, runner. Okay, so she feels like you are a, you're an interference. She feels like you're a third party to her situation dealing with the divine masculine. So she has to feel like you're the karmic. Okay, we got karmic relationship. So the karmic feels like you're the karmic, and she's the divine feminine. And we got the runner. So she feels like that's why the masculine ran off, okay? She says she broke that cycle. She says she broke that cycle. She stopped that pattern of the masculine running back to you. And she said he was wearing a mask anyway. That's what he told her, that he was pretending, okay? This is what I see. So she feels like... The Divine Feminine is the Karmic. <laughs> okay, so, like I said, it's going to be interesting. Let's see. Tell me how this Karmic feels about Divine Feminine. How does this Karmic feel about Divine Feminine? Now that jumps to a pinnacles. She is spying on you, baby. When I tell you, she watching you. I'm hearing she feels like ain't no way you got over the masculine that fast. She see you manifesting. She said, oh, you don't want to talk. You don't want to talk about uh, none of that stuff no more. Huh? You want to change the subject. You ain't over him that fast. That's what she said. Say, ain't no way you got over him that fast. You want to change the subject. Justice. I'm hearing what goes around comes around. She said, you ain't hurting my feelings. She said that masculine said that he regretted being in a, in a connection with you. The whole time. That's what she said. She said, you're not hurting my feelings. Because you got some new friends or you're dealing with somebody. You got something new going on. He see it. He see it. And he still said that he regret being with you. She said he tell her he love her all the time. 
And if he changes his mind, oh well. It don't make me no difference. She said she ain't hating. So she said that the masculine said, look, I was I ain't wanna be over there. You know how them guys do. I mean, she obviously don't know the game because the game is what what he's supposed to tell you? Is he supposed to tell you, Oh, I was just so happy then she's gonna ask, Well, why you here? So a lot of times these masculines definitely go off and tell her they have to say something bad about the last person to make the other person feel secure, especially if she's super duper insecure. But I'm hearing what goes around comes around. That's what I'm hearing. That's what she's saying. What goes around comes around. She said, if y'all connection was so strong, then why you with her? Could be a Leo or a Virgo or a Libra or a Capricorn. The death card. Definitely some transformations going on. But she feels like she need to change. She feels like. I feel like y'all, she, she's trying to say, like, y'all ain't making her sweat. She's saying that, look, you ain't making me sweat. But she asking, she telling the masculine, look, I thought you said that she ain't have no friends. I thought you said that she ain't have no connections. And the whole time, she may have went through his phone and seen the masculine, seeing some conversation that you and the masculine was having. So she told him to go ahead and you need to get that out of the way. You need to move that out of the way. How you going to want to be in a relationship with me, but you still over there forcing, forcing stuff, forcing her to be with you. Mm -hmm. So she's seeing some messages. Okay. And she feels like you're not going back and forth with her. You, she noticed that you're not going back and forth for her, okay? And she's trying to figure out why. She's trying to figure out if you're still single or not. Like if you, if you haven't been with nobody since you and this masculine separated, she's trying to figure out why. Or if you keep your relationship and your business when it comes to who you dealing with, if you keep it private and off of social media, she's trying to figure out who you with. Bernie Mac, who you with? <laughs> okay. Now, like I said, she is spying really, really hard on you. I feel like some of y'all, things are moving real fast for you. Some of y'all, with this star energy, some of y'all are climbing up the social ladder. Y'all are star quality. She's sitting here watching it. And she's she's like, okay, she's trying to get this masculine to completely let go of his past. She don't want to let him go until she know that he has completely got up off of you. Okay, like, don't think about you. Don't even want you around. Don't bring you up in a conversation at all. She's definitely forcing it. Forcing it. But she feels like the masculine is lying about something. So she got she's definitely trying to figure things out as well. She talked she talked mad noise, but she's still trying to figure things out as well. I feel like also moving ahead into the future. This masculine been lying. This masculine been saying that you ain't have you ain't have nothing that he been giving you rides that he been doing. This is what he's telling this karmic. He's been telling this karmic a lot about you. This karmic is definitely trying to figure out. But I feel like with you not going back and forth, you not giving it that much energy. You not putting all all that 
you know, all that on it, she can't really figure out what's going on. She can't figure out why it fell apart like that. She she definitely she wants to ask you. Some of y'all, y'all masculine could be married. Now this is not for everybody. But some of y'all, y'all masculine married, y'all separated, and this is his karmic that he's dealing with. That four of wands here. She feels like he's been uh lying. That he lied about being married. Um and she's trying to figure that part out. Cause she she know it's something she's suspicious because it makes her look some type of way to be arguing over a man that everybody's saying, you know, that he was in a relationship or married or married. Okay. She's saying, look, I can't force, I can't force you to, she's trying to force you to be jealous. Let me tell you, the moon and the five of swords, she's forcing it. She's doing so much to try to make you talk, to try to make you go back and forth for her, to try to make you feel some type of way. Five of swords and the moon and the three of pentacles also here in spell work as well too. And here in pay for it. She said, yeah, a bunch of people be doing that. But, see, the thing about it is, is she's trying to make you jealous. When I see the moon and the five of swords, there's somebody who will go to drastic measures to do anything super duper petty, tit for tat type of energy. She said, yeah, true enough, I can't force you to do it. To make a decision or to get you to talk and tell her. She says she can't force you. Yeah, to make a decision. Okay, she says she can't force you to make some type of decision when dealing with his masculine. And she say, how she's supposed to know what's going on when that was so long ago? She said, you done seen so much and you will still go back to him. She will be surprised. So she's trying to make sure, like I said, she's trying to make sure that she does go overboard. This is overboard energy. She's trying to make sure she go above and beyond overboard to make sure that you see certain things to try to get you to respond and react. I feel like a lot of y'all see things, hear things, and keeping it quiet, keeping it cute. But she's trying to force you to make some type of decision. She's trying to force you to, um, like, to see some things to make you fall back or make you feel some type of way, make you come and approach her and try to say, first of all, let me tell you what she's trying to make you force you to come towards her. Yes. Ten of Pentacles and the King of Cups. I'm sorry, the Ten of Pentacles, yeah, the Ten of Pentacles and the King of Cups. Could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But everybody's saying, you see what this, what this girl got going on? You think she think about him? She changed her mind about the relationship real fast when she found out the truth. So what you waiting on? Okay, like I said, for some of y'all, masculine is married. Or he is in, a, in two relationships at the same time. She could be trying to force him to make some type of decision or force you to make some type of decision. Married man, didn't I tell you? King Cups and her fence. Now, 
This masculine, let me tell you something. This masculine does not feel like he's cheating. This is for the ones who are married to this masculine. The masculine don't feel like it's cheating because the masculine feels like y'all aren't together. Okay? I'm just putting that out there. The masculine does not feel like it's cheating because he feels like y'all aren't together. Okay? And I know a few people who's dealing with this situation like this in particular. I do readings all the time. And I'm just I'm just really confused on these masculines thinking that if y'all are married, there y'all may make sure that y'all asking these males point of view of how they really feel about marriage. Like if y'all were to separate or or get into some type of disagreement and y'all not sharing assets anymore, y'all aren't y'all upset with each other. How these masculines move once y'all are aren't in the same household or aren't you know attached like that how they move with these karmas is beyond me okay beyond beyond me yeah the moon she feels like you keeping secrets She think that the masculine going to come back to you. The devil. Wow. The moon and the devil. I'm getting a lot of spell work being done in this. Um, She want the masculine to herself. This is heavy on somebody if you're dealing with the masculine. Act. If you are divine feminine and you're divine masculine, y'all are married, and this is what he got going on on the side. This is heavy in his in his energy. I'm getting somebody like married to that masculine, and the karmic his is his side piece. Now. She's going to end up having regrets, okay? The, the <laughs> Eight of Pentacles came out in the reverse. Because this masculine not putting in no effort to marry her. This masculine not putting in no effort to give her this ring. She feels like I'm hearing a lot about being married. I'm hearing she been giving, giving him what he asked for the whole time or he's been giving her what she asked for the whole time so she being kind of surprised um that it ended so bad like i said she wants this masculine to herself yep five of swords she's jealous of you too Envious, envious. When I say got a whole problem, I'm hearing she's looking at something that you like. Maybe some of y'all got a good job. Some of y'all got a business. Some of y'all starting to be positive. Like y'all have, y'all are more positive, more happier, more upbeat. And she said you feel like you're doing something. She said, but you better watch out because here I come. She don't like that you changed your mind. Like you changed your mind. Like maybe in the beginning, you was you your you know your your feathers was ruffled a little bit. But I feel like y'all took a different route. And she feels some type of way because she wants you to go back and forth for her. Because the more you go back and forth for her, the more information she can find out and the more she can maneuver the connection. She don't really know how to maneuver the connection with him because you're not doing, you're not saying too much. You're continuing to move forward with your life, like happy. 
So she don't know what to believe. I feel like maybe you told the truth to the public. And now everybody see her as the what she is. So she said he not coming back over there. Don't be surprised if he come over there begging, asking for stuff, but and then lie, come back to her and tell her what's going on. So she feel like the masculine love to come. Like if he was to come back, he coming back with a bunch of lies. I'm here. Also, it's not my fault. He made that choice. He's a married man. You need to talk to him about it. I'm hearing that as well. She feels like a fool. But let me tell you. The fool, the empress, and the ten of wands. She said she been wanting to tell you that he was going back and forth. But she said that he was at her house and the whole time. She said he was back and forth to her house the whole time. She said that you think you the divine feminine, you a fool. Yeah, when you found out this news, you were surprised. I do see with the tower. This was a this was something that that shook your foundation. You knew that you knew that this masculine was hot and something though. You knew he was hot or something. She said that every the roles reversed. They switched and the masculine gave her what she wanted and put you to the side. So she said, yeah, at one point in time, the masculine was on you heavy. But she said, them roles done reversed. He giving me what I want. And she's sitting back waiting. She waiting for you to get in another connection. Because um, she, she said, you know, she want to fight over him. She want to fight you. She saying she hope he don't come back, don't go back to you because that's gonna that's gonna put some stress on the brain. But she said you see how fast you figured out. She's watching you. Y'all doing something and she's she's like you see how fast that happened. Like that happened so fast. Like dang. He said, she said that the masculine said that he gave, he decided to give her what she wanted because she deserved it. Okay, so that's what she's saying. She said the masculine said that she deserved it, so he gave her. She said the roles are reversed. She said the, ro the roles have been reversed. I'm his wife now. You could be his side piece. You could do what you want to do on the side, but I call the shots now. You is not divine feminine. You the karmic. She said, well, since you think you know everything and you don't. She said, you think you know everything, but you don't. She waiting on you to start chasing after him, begging for a relationship. Um, but she said, she thought you would have been undid that by now. So she said, she got to give you your props because she said that you ain't did that. Now. You ain't you ain't even move like that. You ain't move how she thought you was going to move. All right, so that's what I got, y'all. Y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. Now, this was some TT. Who? Y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. I'm going to chat with y'all later. Ciao.